welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to integrate chat gpt in power automate desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started to integrate the chat gpt with power automate desktop first of all what you have to do is you have to go to the web browser and navigate to the open ai website and then i will navigate to the openai.com and then i will click on api and here i will get an option to sign up and login if you do not have an account with the openai.com first you have to click on sign up and then you have to enter your email id and create an account right once you have created an account with openai.com you can click on login or you can continue with microsoft account if you have one with the microsoft or you can continue with the google I will close this because I already have an account so I will go to the login and I will log in with my credential so now I'm logged in into platform.openai.com right and after this I will go to the personal and then you have to go to the view API keys once you are in the api keys page you have to click on create new secret key so this secret key will be used to send your api request to the open ai correct because i already have a secret key created i will use the existing one but if you do not have one you can click on create new secret key and then you can copy it in the clipboard and then you can click on OK right once you have the secret key you have to go to the documentation make sure you keep your secret key somewhere in the notepad as of now I am keeping it in my clipboard then you have to go to the API reference and then go to the introduction so here you will get all the documentation about how you can make API request to the OpenAI right and here we have some of the models what is the model you can learn about it and also in the introduction section you can learn about what is prompts and completions what is tokens what is models right so first of all I will go to the completions right once you give a prompt it will predict the completions until written the tokens so let's start with completions I will go to the power automate desktop and then I will go to the HTTP and from here I will drag this invoke web service action in the invoke web service action there are multiple fields which you need to populate first one is URL second one is where you have to specify the method that you are going to use to send an API request then you have to specify what type of content it is going to accept and you have to also specify the content type here you can specify the headers if your API requires and if there is any request body you know 
which you can pass that also can be populated in the request body section in the save response you can specify whether you want to store it into a variable or you want to write it in some file then you have advanced section where you can specify the connection timeout you can specify whether it should follow the redirection you can clear the cookies fail on error status right and you can also specify whether you want to encode the request body right and if you if your api requires http authentication or does it you know if you want to accept the untrusted certificates and also you have an option to specify whether you want to accept untrusted certificates okay so first thing is that i need to get the url so i'll go to the open ai and copy the url i will copy the url from here control c i'll go to the power automate desktop and here i'll specify or paste the url again i'll go back to the open ai website and here you can see the method is given as post so i will choose post in the invoke web service action and here you can see that the content type is going to be json right so same thing i'll specify in our parameter which is accept and content type application slash json and content type is also going to be application slash json and then you have to specify the headers in custom header you will specify your secret key right the one we created and you have copied it you know from the site and kept it either in the clipboard or pasted it somewhere in the file right so i'll go back to the open ai website here it is given as authorization colon bearer and then your api key I'll copy this I'll go back to the power automate desktop and I will specify paste the same thing here and now instead of your API key I'll paste the actual secret key which I created from the site and here I have pasted the secret key now i have to specify the request body i will go back to the open ai site and from here i have to specify the model which i'm going to use and also the prompt right so what you can do is you can copy you can click on copy and copy all of it and paste it here here you can see that i have specified the model which which we are going to use to send the request right and this prompt is the text that i want to send to this api right and how many tokens i want we want seven tokens right and the temperature is going to be zero and all these fields are optional except this model and prompt okay then i will go to the advanced section and here you have to make sure that in code request body option is disabled right 
and then your output of and your output is going to be stored in web service response headers and web service response to and status code to right then I will click on save and then I will right click and say run from here so bot has run now I will check the variables which is web service response to and here I have got the response I can check the status code as well which is 200 which means it has been successful let's say I want to say that what is power automate desktop and let's increase the tokens as 100 and let's remove you know other parameters from here and let's just keep these three which is model and the prompt you know the text that you're going to query and then the tokens I have specified as 100 okay and then I will click on save and now I will run this bot here you can see that the status code is 200 which is power automate desktop is a tool that enables you know automation of tasks by encoding user interactions right so this is the response I have got now I will go to and I will search JSON and from here I will choose convert JSON to custom object I will specify the variable which I want to use so I it is going to be web response to web service response to and the output is going to be stored in JSON as custom object too. Now I will right click on it and click on run from here and this time I will check this JSON as custom object too and here is my response I have got the ID I got the object what time it was you know created what is the model I've used and then inside choices I will click on more then I will go inside it and then I have a text property which is containing the response that I have caught from the you know API so this is the response that I have caught in order to access this text property you know it says that first you have to go to the JSON as a custom object to then choices then at the zero index I will have this text property so let's just show it in a message box I'll go to the message boxes I will drag display message and from here I will choose JSON as custom object to and there I it saw that it is choices then at the zero index I have you know text property I will say keep the message box always on top and then click on save I can right click and say run from here and your bot will start now and it will display the response that we have got from the API and here is 
the response which says that power automate desktop is a windows automation platform we use to create software robots that can take over mundane and manual tasks for users so this is the response that i have got from the from the api i will click on ok so this is how you can integrate chat gpt with power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day